Hi guys, it's me, uh, Florian. I have a new version of Coiffeur for you. Uh, a new version which is free for all the um, existing users. Um, this version is the number 1.4 since the release of the tool. And this one has a new, very cool feature. Um, I, I, I used this technique uh, for uh, a character I did a few months ago and I saw the potential of adding this to the tool. Uh, I had this feature in mind like since the beginning of the tool but it took me some time to finally have the chance to use it, uh, to code it and to add this to the tool. So it, it will look like some of the existing features. You won't be um, starting from something completely new. So the idea is like you have your X-Gen scene, a groom of someone, for example a beard of, or some short hair, and you have your geometry, and you will use the UVs to bake uh, the text or uh, a texture, which will be basically the cast, uh, the recast of this hair on the surface of the mesh. So let me explain that with a short example. It will be better. So. On the tool here, I have a new baking tool section which will grow with some other cool stuff coming. Um, but here is the, the tool. So I've loaded the tool here, I have a new window. Uh, but here we have the hair shader manager that you've already seen before and the Arnold Beck manager. A bit customed, uh, but uh, it's the same, basically the same tools. So what can we do for now? Um, so you could start from here and set a current project or browse uh, a project a project uh, path because as you know if you're using Xgen you will need to have a path a Maya path setup and then um, you will create your scene or open a scene and that's what we're going to do so I'm going here to have uh, a project and I have to browse project here that's right then I will open the scene this one here okay so here we have a very small groom here we have some beard and some eyebrows and eyelashes and the face of my character is here. So what I can do here is I have some UVs. Let me show you. The mesh is quite dense, but it's not a necessity. So I'm going to tell Quaffer that this is the scalp mesh. I'm going to tell the Quaffer that, that those are the description I want to back. I won't take the eyelid because I don't want the, the eyelid in my textures. And then I'm going to query the shaders on those descriptions. You can see I have just black shader here. I could add a new one, for example, I will add some uh, golden uh, eyebrows here. So for some reason, I don't really know, it just takes a few seconds to change the shader, but that's, that's it. And now I can select different uh, maps. Oh, sorry. Uh, like this one and this one here. Um, as you can see here, I can change the background, the background of the of the texture. So basically, it will be the color of the scalp. So I could pick a color like that, and we're going to have a quick test about it with this option. Okay. So save the edit and close it. I'm going to set a resolution so it will be just um, a simple test here. So I'm going to put some very low value for the, this example. And now I'm ready to bake the texture. It's, it, it's just simple as that. So let's create everything and I will cut the video for now. Okay. So now I have my texture baked, so let's see what are the results. 
So if you click on open the result here, you will have the baking folder. And what you can see here is like, we only are able to bake EXR maps, which is not that great for games, but we can quickly convert them on Photoshop or any other 2D application, it's very simple. Uh, notice here we have some iteration, so we can bake and bake stuff and you will always have your previous version. Let's open it. And we can see here that we have the result of our texture here. We have like the eyebrows here, the beard here, and this red background because I selected a red color. So let's see the other maps. We have the normal map here, and here we have the flow map. So that's it. That's all you have to do, like two buttons, four or five maybe, and you're good to go. But there is one more option here, it's like you can select a texture here. So if I go here, normally I have texture somewhere, um, somewhere... Uh, where did I have this one? In here? No. Okay, here. We have the texture of the skin. I, I simply um, erase the beard and we are going to bake a new beard on top of it. So let's save this. Let's close the panel and let's just render this one here. And let's wait for the result. Okay, great. Now we have the result. Let's open it. And voila. And as you can see here, we have the the beard that I've baked, which is on top of the texture that I've roughly cleaned. So it's just like some stamp to raise the beard. And now we have the render to put the beard on top of it. So that's all you need to know about this new feature, as you can see it's very simple, you can just open your scene, add your shader, select your object and bake the texture, that's it. It's simple as coiffure. So I hope you will like this new feature and you have to stay tuned because I have some good news to share with you around next week and some new update in the coming month for you guys. So have a good day, bye.